Yeah. Welcome back, and thanks for joining Ty the Gun Guy! If you guys haven't checked out Olight products, you better. These things are awesome, rechargeable, they're totally affordable, they're excellent little gun and weapon lights, and they have them for pistols, rifles, you name it, large, small. Get there and check them out. You guys use my coupon code, TOD10, that's T-O-D-D-1-0, and you guys will get a 10% discount on your Olight products. Today we are going to play with the H&K MP5 22 long rifle. This thing is a fun little toy. Great for the range. It is flawless. We're going to get into this thing and show you why I like it so much. This is a clone of the MP5 and 9mm. Uh, pretty much the same weight, the same dimensions, all that good kind of stuff. It is, however, not made by H&K. It's made by Umarex in Germany. So I do have the FN50222 that's made by Umarex. And I'll tell you what, guys, Umarex knows their stuff. This 22 long rifle, it is blowback action. It does come with a one 25 round magazine that does have a nice little easy thumb assist to load up your shell, so that's easy to load. So that thing is a 25. It does come with 10 for you guys in California, I do believe. Let's have this handy dandy little stock right there. So this is considered a rifle, so it's not an SBR. I do believe the barrel length is 16.1 inches. Um, you know, it's hard to get the old slap in with the red dot, but you can do the old slap there if you like. It does allow you to put a mount here. I went on Amazon. I can't remember the name of this. Picatinny rail right here. It's got a couple screws, but you see here and here it gives you two areas that will actually hook the mount on. So I actually did put an inexpensive $83 Amazon Romeo MSR on here. It's nice because it's got the raised mount, so I could actually see through the sights. No problem with the ejection. 22's come out no problem. So that's a nice little mount if you want to put a red dot. Otherwise, use the, uh, the sights that it comes with. They're pretty accurate that way too. You do have two positions here for slings. One on the back, one on the front right there. So you have two positions for your sling. Got your fire and safe right there. Uh, to release your magazine, boom, you got the side right here. You also have the paddle release right there. It is a little bit tight. You've got to get it in there, but I think that'll wear with some time. Does have your faux suppressor, not a real suppressor. So that is faux right here. I'll tell you what. I mean, the weight of this thing is like seven pounds, so it's heavy. Uh, I had a couple buddies want to take it to the range with me and fire it. It's it's front heavy, so the weight of this thing is really all up front here. Okay. So if you got a weak left arm up here, it's going to be it's going to be front heavy. I don't mind it. Because I'm a big guy, you know, big and strong. All right, this is a single stage trigger, and you can see it does have a little bit of take up there, but it's got a heavy wall. You can hear it. You can almost hear the wall. I mean, it's heavy. Okay, let's get the re let's get the reset. Again, reset. There's a reset. Okay, there you go. So it's got a nice trigger to it. I'll tell you what. Overall, this thing is a shooter. I mean, it is awesome. For 479 bucks, or maybe get it on sale if it's under 500 bucks. Uh, she's a keeper in my book for sure. I mean, it's hardcore, heavy duty. Umarex knocked it out of the park. Partnered with H and K. Used to be Walter, I think, made a, a version of this. Um, German Sporting Guns GSG American Tactical Imports, I believe, has one still. It's really easy to disassemble, which we can't show on YouTube. It's got a pin here and a pin here. You pop out the two pins, you pull out the lower, you pull the back side here with the uh, actual brace on it, and then you want to unscrew the faux suppressor, push the actual pencil barrel, pull it out, you got your whole action. So in about four moves, you can get this thing disassembled and put it right back together. If you want a plinker that's going to eat everything, under 500 bucks, feel like the real deal, Get the H&K MP5 22 long rifle. They do come in pistols too, that you could actually put a suppressor on the end of it. But this, you could still put a suppressor on the end, but it just looks weird because it's got a pencil barrel. But anyway, get one of these dudes in your hands because you'll have a lot of fun, I promise you. This one's an A-plus home run. Umarex killed it. Damn. Junk. I don't like it. <laughs> Damn. 
Stay safe, stay vigilant, keep shooting, keep firing, keep reloading, buy guns, buy ammo, and until next time, time the gun guy!